So in this first video, we will be installing Laravel and setting up uh, Socialite, Laravel Socialite package. As you can see, I'm on the GitHub page of Laravel Socialite. Laravel Socialite provides an expressive fluent interface to auth authentication with Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Bitbucket. It handles almost all the boilerplate social authentication code you are dreading writing. We are not accepting new adapters. If you are using Laravel 5.3 or below, please use Socialite 2.0. Adapter for other platforms are listed in the community driven Socialite. So if you go to github.com Laravel Socialite uh, and you needed other platforms, you can use this. But the ones that are being uh, that are available by default are these ones where you have Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Bitbucket. So first of all, for us to start, uh, we need to go to the documentation, which I've already opened here. If you go to laravel.com slash doc slash 5.5 slash social socialite, you would see at the bottom here inside official packages, you see socialite. So this is the documentation. So that's how you can find it from the Laravel docs. Or you simply click this link. It will take you um, to socialite. Now we've uh, come here for us to use Laravel Socialite. Uh, we are going to need to install Laravel first, all right? So um, we're going to look at getting started and we're going to look at installation. Now, if this is not your first time with Laravel, you might as well skip this video from here and even the next video because uh, within the next two, three videos, all I'll be doing is installing Laravel. Now, to install Laravel, you need a warm server. Or any server at all that you use. I use WAMP server because I'm on a Windows machine currently. And then you need to click on this link to install Composer. If you don't already have Composer, I already have it. Since this is not a beginner tutorial, I won't start teaching you how to install Composer. Now, uh, the next step is to actually install a Laravel application. So I'm just going to do this. Uh, instead of this, I want to use Laravel 5.6. So to do that, I'll come to this point and change the version to 5.6. All right. Which is the latest version all right so we're good and uh, we're on installation and uh, we're right here to install laravel you just copy this as long as you already have composer installed it will work perfectly all right to do this we have to go to uh any folder on your system to install laravel i like to install laravel on a specific folder in my system where i have um warm server all right so i'm just gonna go to ww folder and then in the folder by the right here, I'll, I'll hold my shift key, right click, and then I'll see this open command window here. All right, that's a shortcut for opening a command window in a folder you're working with instead of just typing this out manually. So I'm gonna right click, and when I right click, it pastes what we copy from Laravel page, and here I'm just gonna call it socialite. So um, as you know, Oh, sorry. Okay, that Socialite, this is just the Laravel application that we're first of all installing. After installing it, then we're going to add the Socialite package. You understand? So that people can log in using Facebook or Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, GitHub, and so on and so forth. All right? Make sure your system is connected to the internet. As you can see, mine, mine is connected to the internet. And this process, once you paste it and click enter, this process could take within two to five minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And which also means that I will pause this video at this moment and come back after the installation is done. All right. Thank you very much. See you uh, when I'm back. All right, guys, we're done. And um, we're going to just run this to generate the key. So I've highlighted this control C on my keyboard to copy it and right click to paste it and I'll do this so that it can generate the key for me. Um, all right, because we need to actually CD into the file. We'll CD, that is change directory socialite. Um, because we named the file socialite here, somewhere at the top of this place. We call this socialite, that's the folder. So I'll hit enter and we inside uh, socialize. I'll right click to paste what I copied and hit enter again. This is just to generate the key I hope everything went well. Okay, it didn't go well because we don't have this .env file uh, yet, all right? So what we're gonna do is to um, start dot. So it's gonna open, this should open the folder for us. As you can see, that's open the folder. So we're gonna open it in our editor. The editor I'm using is 
VS Code. So I'll click this. If you have any other editor, you open it. So we're in the Socialite folder, and what we're trying to do is to rename this .env file so that uh, it will remove the example extension of it. So this is the same folder I have here. As you can see, this is the same folder. So we're looking for this .env, and here I'm trying to rename it. If you try to rename it from here directly, it won't work. So you have to rename it from inside your editor. So I've renamed it. I've removed the .example extension. Then I'll hit enter. And now I've done that. Um, I'll open it just to show you that at the top of here, there is the app key is empty. So that's what we're trying to generate. So if I come here and click the up arrow button on my keyboard, it will pull up the last uh, command I ran. So I'm going to hit enter. And then, as you can see, it has been generated successfully, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is to look at our app just to be sure that it worked well. So we're going to do PHP Artisan Serve. So it has started a server for us. So we're going to go to our browser and um, check whether this is running, all right? So we head back to our browser. In the next video, we will be uh, working on the database. We'll create the database. So, but let's just confirm that our installation is complete and working. So, we'll paste and go. All right, as you can see, it's working very well. See you in the next video where we set up the database, connect Laravel to our database, and then continue. All right, thank you very much. See you.